Hi, welcome to Think Human. I'm Chris, and in this video, I want to talk about the psychedelic experience. So, however it's called, a spiritual experience, a mystical experience, or the psychedelic experience, these are all the same thing, and there are two distinct ways, well, probably more, but two main distinct ways of how to reach this state of mind. One would be the difficult way, and this would be true inner spiritual exploration of taking time, concentration, to spend your energy into introspection perspective activities of really looking inside meditating contemplating your life and everything around you what the hum human condition is and truly turning the attention inwards and then if it's done well enough then at some point in that journey a person will have a profound deep experience that is distinct and very different from anything else uh, in our everyday human experience. A second easier way to achieve this kind of state, this psychedelic experience, is to actually take some psychedelic uh, substance. And uh, for me, the experience that I will talk about is when I took psilocybin uh, mushrooms. And this was when about was about uh, 16 or 17. I was severely depressed when I took these things in order to help me. And uh, it's, it was absolutely mind-blowing and uh, one of the most profound experiences of my life. I, I am not hesitant to say that at all. And it's really strange for people to hear this, like, how is it possible? Like, it was just a drug. How can it be so uh, meaningful of an experience? Uh, but it truly is. And if you ever seen anyone talk about this kind of experiences, one of the things that most people say is that it cannot put... It, cannot be put into words and this is something that I will also reaffirm that it really cannot be put into words properly but I believe that it's possible to give some kind of a um, taste or some kind of an idea of what it might look like if you have good imagination and we can think along. So for me I took it uh, home alone and what I noticed is that things started feeling quite different. Uh, I was behind my computer uh, which is a brilliant thing to do in psychedelics, well, not really. Um, and I just saw my field of vision kind of expand, and that was different and, and interesting, and it sort of got me thinking like, oh, wow, I've been waiting for a little bit uh, for anything to happen. It was like 30 minutes or maybe an hour, and then I was like, okay, I feel kind of funny. Now, I think people put too much attention uh, on psychedelics, on the visuals, like, whoa, this is trippy, man. Or, or if you look, look at a video of a description of what is it like to have a psychedelic experience, then you have a video with the colors being all weird and like things moving around. But that's not what the experience is about at all. Uh, psychedelic experience can be absolutely profound, life-changing and meaningful without anything in the visual perception uh, being different from, from normal waking life. What makes all the difference and is the substance of the experience is what happens inside our heads. And for me, I don't remember exactly how it went, so it'll be a bit more general. For me, how it was, it's this general kind of letting go of the ego. The sort of thing that we carry around with us every day, you kind of distance yourself from that. All the problems you think you have, the kind of person you think you are, you are distanced from all of that. And the world around you, and this is the reason why you see people doing sometimes stupid things in psychedelics, especially the first times, is that you experience everything as if you had a set of new eyes, as if you see everything for the first time. You don't carry along with you these boxes and biases that a tree is a tree, a car is a car, this is this, that is that. You have no concept of that. So that is why you see people, you know, looking at things and their hands like, whoa, my hands are so crazy. Because at that moment, you, you don't take it for granted that you have hands. It's like you see it for the first time. How fucking weird is it that we have hands? Like, what the is up with that? So... That is one of the reasons why it seems funny to people outside, but while experiencing it, it's absolutely real and, and profound. And I would say a true psychedelic experience is one of the realest feelings how it could ever feel like. It almost feels as like the rest of your life has been a dream and this is the realest experience ever. Um, it is incredibly useful to use psychedelics to go through problems and issues and I had a ton of that and just thinking about your life and the important part is that you don't think about it with fear 
or or being afraid or anxiety or anything that goes with it no it's it's the same same kind of mechanism why it's so easy to give good advice to other people but not follow that advice yourself because you are not so intimately connected to other people's problems so you can judge the situation better and more objectively when you take psychedelics you have the same kind of situation with yourself that you are no longer intimately connected with whatever baggage you have, you realize that it's just a random set of circumstances and coincidences that lead you to the point where you are now, right now. We are not fully responsible for the lives we live. If you have some kind of baggage with you, if you feel guilt or shame or whatever it might be, then these kind of things you can work through and you can forgive yourself for pretty much everything and you can understand that you are a beautiful amazing human being because you can see and truly understand what led you to do all the mistakes that you've done what led you to maybe be an asshole a bad person if you have been that maybe you know whatever mistakes and faults you have in your life in that state of this experience you absolutely understand and fully comprehend why it happened and it's not like you even sit down like, oh wow, I get it, which definitely can happen as well. But it becomes obvious, it becomes so clear. You see through people's bullshit and the bullshit of society. One of the first things that I experienced in psychedelics for just a few moments was the feeling of, wow, this is illegal. It's illegal for human beings to have this experience. And I was just starting my trip and I was like, this is one of the most wonderful things that I've ever felt. Being a really depressed person in a really bad place. And finally, after years, getting some kind of relief uh, from this horrible mind state. And I was thinking, wow, it's illegal for me to have this experience. How messed up that is. But it's not like I dwell on it for a long time. Like, oh, the world is so messed up. It was like, <laughs> like yeah, I get it. Like, that's just the truth. Like, okay, this is how the world is. Like, no point in me, like, you know, getting uh, hung up on that or something like that. So it's really easy to go through all of that bullshit. And it's so clear and obvious. There is what we do in everyday lives, what people do, especially egotistical people and people who are not maybe really self-aware, is that people lie to themselves a lot there is a lack of honesty that people have in their lives people are deluded in many ways even some of the best people are deluded in some ways some parts of their mind are just closed off or not working properly they have misconceptions or biases some cognitive dissonance kind of relieving mechanisms all these kind of stupid gears and mechanisms so we could live our normal human life but while you have this experience you see through that you look at some experience like that you had in the past you're like oh wow i i acted like this i was so defensive like why was i like that okay i was like that because i was actually thinking about another thing and these people didn't know about whatever it might have been you know it's just a random example but you get all that you like fully appreciate that all of these masks that human beings have on in our daily lives that hello this is me i am this much old and this is my name and this is my job all of that is pure nonsense and you see through it because you are simply consciousness experiencing the world and that is how you truly feel and then we can get into this weird space of actually experiencing something like ego death, which I did and is one of the strangest experiences I've ever had in my entire life. But I think I'll, I'll do another video on that. So psychedelic experience, I think, is incredibly valuable. I think it also has incredible stigma attached to it. I would never understand and I still do. I get it, but like I don't I don't like appreciate or ah like people can do whatever they want obviously but what i'm talking about is people like taking lsd or whatever and then going to parties or in the city streets or whatever just to like have fun and hang out which can be really fun but for me it was always a tool of introspection truly looking inwards and figuring your life out and figuring your life out without fear anxiety and really looking at things how things truly are that is the magic and power of the experience that you don't carry any of that shit with you you are absolutely free of it and you look at your life where you are where you really are you can be totally honest with yourself 
and this is a life-changing experience just for that and this was the biggest step for me of really getting over depression because I was able to really look at my situation without being personally attached to it I could take a step back from my life and look at it like what it is what's going on here and I discovered so much dysfunctional bullshit and stuff going on I was like I need to stop doing this I, I'm gonna stop doing this I'm gonna stop doing this why have I been doing this so many things uh, that human beings do are so unhelpful and uh, self-deceiving, uh, deceptive and, and delusional and uh, psychedelics truly help us to see the light so to speak uh, so that's why I think it's an incredibly valuable and interesting experience to have uh, so these are just some thoughts how the experience was like for me I think truly in my heart that every rational reasonable human being uh, who's curious and likes to think about the world and experience new things should have a similar experience in their lives you know I'm not telling everybody to go out and take uh, mushrooms or whatever uh, because for some uh, type of people it truly is dangerous shouldn't do it should be really careful with where you do it what kind of mindset you have how much you take all of that uh, but you know maybe some other ways to get uh, closer to it spirituality or meditating you know whatever you want to do uh, but I think these are incredibly valuable experiences and I have no doubt that if every human being on the planet had this experience, the world would be very different than uh, what we see right now. So I hope you got some interesting thoughts from this video. If you have any thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and take care.